Okay, so it's the next day. I spent uh, oh, last night till about 2 a.m., maybe 1 o'clock, getting everything in uh, Sequence Generator Pro uh, set up. It's, um, I guess, it's supposed to be user-friendly. I didn't find it user-friendly, but I did figure it out. It took me a while. But, um, it did work a little last night, but the dome was a little off, so I made some adjustments this morning. But, uh, as you can see, if I bring up my mount controls, and, ooh, what is up with that glare? And unpark it, let me turn the glass off, there we go. And unpark it, and then quicker doing the north-south rotation, so I'm going to put it over a north rotation. And theoretically, over a little bit of time here, the dome should start to rotate. There we go. Oh, I'll just go a little north and stop. Now the dome will stop, but it'll take uh, about five seconds before, there it goes, before it says, oh, okay, the scope's over here. And you can see that the, it lines up real good. So I got that all working. I had to re-upload the, the Abscon drivers for my, uh, ASI camera because it wasn't working correctly on here. It was all pixelated. I did do a one dark frame today. And if I zoom all the way in, it's not pixelated. It had the, you know, the the matrix squares everywhere. So it just wasn't set correctly. Uh, I uploaded the the new AppsCom drivers and that's all set. Um, show you what I got here for the equipment manager. This is this is the one that I you live in. <laughs> I find out anyway. But there's the camera. It just says ASI camera one, which is my 294. If you go into settings, it brings up 294 Pro or all 16 manual. I left those all to the default until I get to tonight. It is 120 gain, that's Unity gain, so that's good. Um, so I'll leave that like it is. I had a little bit of issue um, with the auto guider. It's all set to pH 2, but for some reason it wasn't engaging correctly. Um, that I think I got fixed. I'm not going to be able to check that until tonight. But, um, uh, time consuming until you figure it out. I did run a sequence last night of uh, the Heart Nebula. Started it at 2, shut it off, got up back up and shut it off at 4 because I didn't have it. I wanted to come out and check the dome and stuff anyway. But, um, they, all the pics of all the images were pixelated because I didn't have the newer drivers in. I'm assuming, so that should be taken care of. Um, other than that, I think I'm good to go. Uh, the motor seems to be working pretty good. I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some uh, silicone lubricant for both the shutter, which I have manual. I don't have the automatic motor. I, I mean. Eh. I'm not too worried about that. I can open and close the shutter. Uh, it's a little stiff in a couple spots, but that's because, you know, I, it's not lubricated yet. I'll put some silicone gel in there and we should be fine. Uh, I'm also gonna lubricate all the wheels. Um, it does, it's coming up, it is, isn't it? I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, it is a little sticky uh, in a couple spots, but I think that's just the gel. I mean, the, the dome, like right here, once the roller hits that little lip, it kind of bounces a little bit. And I think a lot of that has to do with the wheels kind of sticking a little bit. So I'll put some gel on that and we'll see how much that helps. And I might spray some WD-40 into all these 
rollers, although if, if I find one that's not resting on, they all roll pretty well. Um, other than that, I will probably record my setup tonight. Hopefully, I didn't do it last night because I knew I was going to have issues because I've, I've never done it before. And I'm glad I didn't because I started at about 8. <laughs> it would have been a six-hour recording. That wouldn't have worked very well. So I will uh, record tonight from start to finish. Well, start until the sequence begins. And uh, we'll see how everything goes. Um, one more thing, the screen down here. I'm going to bring this up. So, excuse me, I'm holding the camera and looking at the... Oops. Let me save that. I didn't change anything, but I always like to save it. This is this the sequence data. I haven't loaded anything into it yet. But uh, this is also something I'm going to have to familiarize myself with. I start... Uh, with uh, just one for now. I don't have a autofocus or anything like that. Um, I do have to figure out how to manually focus, but that's where you... I, I've played with this and it seems to work pretty well. You take a picture. I don't have any AF. I might get one in the future. Uh, not yet. Um, but you could take a picture over here, check your focus and retake it. And it works pretty well. Um, so all I did last night was set the heart nebula, you go, you hit the target button, and I might still have this saved in here, that would be interesting, let's find out, let's see. nope, I don't have it in there, but I went to, um, uh, Telescopius, I have an account there, and I clicked on the heart nebula, copied, copied the URL, checks, it does all that really well. Um, plate solved really well, I had no issues with plate solve, it, it did that very fast. You just have to make sure you have all your, um, your, uh, you know, your focal lengths and stuff like that correct, and, which is kind of a pain, I have to look them all up because I don't remember any of that stuff. And one thing I do have to remember, I don't know why this defaults to do not move to location. I don't know why it does that. I wish I, I'm, I'm hopefully there's a way I can set that to slew to uh, and then center on location instead of defaulting to do not move to location. I don't know why it does that. Um, maybe somebody sees this, they can let me know what I'm doing wrong there. Yeah, yeah, I know it's an invalid target because I don't have anything set. Um, I had some trouble with the, the dome drivers. I ended up going, this one seems to work better, Beaver Next Dome. If you have a Next Dome, it's the Avscon drivers. I seem to have to have, let me pull it up here, the Avscon Dome Control Panel active and connected for it to work. So I may have to play with that a little bit, but that's not a big deal. This is a piece of cake. You just open that, hit connect, and uh, if there's no arrows, it just pops right up and syncs everything right up. And I slave it, if you can see it there, slave it to the dome. So that all seems to work really well. Um, that's kind of it for today. What did I do there? I just covered it up. Okay. Um, fortunately, it is only 10.42. I am kind of tired. So I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> and then I'm going to come out tonight and I'll record my first successful capture of the Heart Nebula. I hope. <laughs> Alright. Bye.